My name is Nico LaHood, and I am the Bear County Criminal District Attorney. My oldest daughter, Maya, about four months ago, said, Papi, I don't know if I want you to win. And I said, why, baby? And she goes, because you're not here a lot. And I said, then she goes, I said, I'm sorry. And she goes, well, then she cut me off. She goes, but I, I kind of want you to win because you're good at what you do. I go, what do I do? You help people. We as a society should hate the spilling of innocent blood, and we should do everything we can to protect our children. I'm, oh, I'm homegrown from San Antonio, Texas. Um, my pop grew up on the west side on Morales Street, near the old Robert E. Green. My mom went to Harlandale on the south side. My older brother and I spent a lot of time on the south side with our grandma on Clutter Street in South Flores, right down the street from St. Leo's Catholic Church. I went to Catholic school all my life. I'm, I mean, blessed to say that kind of an uneventful childhood, you know, just the normal childhood you would think is normal. And um, went to high school here, went to Central Catholic High School, ended up at SAC for way too many years, and then, and then, and then went transferred to St. Mary's. But through that, those SAC years and St. Mary's transition period in that season in my life, I went through some tremendous challenges, some of them self-inflicting and others I didn't choose, but happened to me anyway. Well, I, you know, I never wanted to be a DA. I never thought I could be the district attorney. I never wanted to get into politics. I, I frankly think politics sucks. I don't like politics. And what I should really clarify that, I don't like partisanship. Politics, when you look at the root word of politics in the Greek, it just means to advocate for something. So we're all politicians. You're a politician, I'm a politician. Everybody's a politician, because we're all advocating for something. But when we get into partisanship, where we choose a party over people, over principles, or especially over purpose, then I think that becomes a problem. I always wanted to be a lawyer though, because my pop's a lawyer, and he's my hero, and I still look up to him today. And so my pop taught me that a lawyer was a legal bodyguard that spoke for people that couldn't speak for themselves, fought for people that needed fighting for, that they couldn't defend themselves. And so to me, a lawyer, I was raised, it was an honorable thing. All I knew growing up is that people really respected my pop. I mean, they really admired him, they revered him because, because he was helping them out and I'd go to the office with them and thank you Mr. LaHood, oh I appreciate it Mr. LaHood, oh thank you so much and, and they just really, there was this sincerity about and he would spend time with them in the office, he's an old school guy, I mean he didn't have a time clock and billable hours, all that crap. Through the grace of God and, and me really refocusing myself on, on living life a different way, I eventually got there but my motivation was because I saw and I wanted to emulate my own man because I saw the way he he treated his clients and how they thought of him. And then she's been an amazing mom. I mean, we have four children. Uh, one of our children is special needs, as you know. And she just doesn't skip a beat. She never complains. There's no drama in our house. I mean, there's a loud home. We have four kids. I mean, my wife is, is just an amazing woman. She, she's made me a better person. She's been part of my journey in finding peace after dealing with my brother's murder. And, and all the, the, the struggles I went through for years of dealing with the anger you know, associated with, with his murder. God doesn't want us to be afraid. How many times does Jesus tell us to be not afraid? 2 Timothy 1.7 says that God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but of love, sound mind, and power. I think one of the greatest accomplishments that, that has been attained in the office since I've been the DA is the culture has changed. There is a true spirit of justice in this office. It drives me insane to think and to see the cases that we see in this office where children are abused, they're neglected, they're truly made to feel like they're not loved and that messes with their identity or lack thereof, which affects their behavior, which a reflection of their behavior is a reflection of what they believe of their own lives and the future and the world they live in. I'm, I'm gonna take the opportunity with the responsibility that I've been entrusted with to protect this community, all this community, to always speak my mind, to be honest and humble about it, but also be courageous and fearless about it. That's a hard balance, right? because we can screw it up because we're wrapped in this stuff called flesh. But I, I like to give the order of how I identify myself. My identity is I'm a child of God first, I'm a husband, I'm a daddy, and I happen to be the DA in that order. Mm -hmm.